Tasha. Welcome back to my channel. Coming to you guys with a styling video. I haven't made a styling video I felt feel like in so long. But I put this look together earlier today and posted it on my Instagram and my Facebook and the park, the Ashley Park group that I'm in in Facebook, which I think is called Park Avenue. So this look I got so many compliments and so many people wanted these pants. I'm like, let me go ahead and do the styling video. So just to let you guys know, the vest for these pants did drop this morning. Today is Thursday, April 22nd. So I did order the vest. I told you guys I also picked up the crop top. So once I receive the other two pieces, I will come back and restyle the set a couple of different ways. But let's go ahead and jump into the look. So I have on these wide pleated pants wildly pleated pants from h&m they're in the color brown which brown is very much on trend for the spring and summer i paired it with this off the shoulder like little knit top from boohoo i also paired it with my white mules from nine west and my little purse that is a bottega veneta dupe from h&m i just tucked the straps i have on my gold link chain and I will pair this look with some shades. So I feel like this look gives very much boss vibes. I feel like this is brunch, maybe like a nice dinner. But I feel like this is more like boss vibes. Like if I worked in like a Fortune 500 company, I'm about to go close on some deals. Like I feel like it's that type of vibe. So, I love these pants. And if you guys can see, like, the pleating, like I said, in my unboxing, the pleating hits where it's supposed to hit. The volume right here kind of camouflages the fupa. So, if you're going to do something wide on the bottom, then you want to be kind of fitted up here. And then these pants... You know taper back down at the ankle and then i have on a pointed toe shoe to kind of like elongate me so what do you guys think hey you guys so this is look number two so i have on this double breasted vest that i got from h&m I paired it with these Bermuda shorts that I got from Old Navy. If you watched my vlog when I went to Arundel Mills, went to the Cheesecake Factory, won a little bit of coin at the casino, then you would have seen my little mini try on that I did inside of Old Navy. So these are like high-waisted Bermuda shorts, and it has like the five buttons, but I only need to unbutton two to get in them. So they're super stretchy, super comfortable, and then I paired it with my Bottega Veneta dupe sandals from Shein and my little Chanel backpack. So what do you guys think about this look? Okay you guys, so here is the red dress that I recently hauled for you guys from H&M. So the little tie front. I have it tucked under the statement belt. So this is one of those dresses that would be an example of a dress that kind of swallows me because it's oversized. It doesn't really have any shape. So I went ahead and left the top open to expose some neckline. Again, the statement belt to give me some shape. And I tucked the little tie front. I left some buttons open on the bottom just to give me some movement. And I have the sleeves rolled up. I paired it with my black clutch and these same black sandals that I just showed you guys. And as you guys can see, it has like a little split on the side. So I think this is like a real comfortable, cute little lunch. It can even be a day date, one errands, way to work. You guys gotta go back to work. 
you just have to make a little alterations for work but what y'all think about this one i really love this and i don't like red like i don't gravitate towards red but red is a color that looks good on my eye skin tone it makes me pop a little bit so this is like i think the only red thing i may own Okay, you guys, so I have on the chocolate brown satin set. I have it paired again with my purse from H&M. And I have on these sandals that are pretty much the same color from Shein. It has like a little gold detail that matches the chain. Now, I have it tucked in because I think I will want to expose like this little detail on the side but because this top is so oversized and long more than likely I probably would wear like a tank under it and just have it open but for styling purposes this is like the preferred way that I would want to wear it. And then again, you can put some shades on. This will really elevate it even more. So what do you guys think about this look? Okay, you guys, so I thought I'd play around with a print shirt. I picked up this shirt from ASOS from the men's section in the size 2X. And then I just paired it with my boyfriend jeans from Fashion Nova and my white mules from Now West. I'm still carrying the same purse from H&M. So when I went on ASOS, I was like in this vintage mode, like 70s, 80s vibe. So that's what made me gravitate towards this shirt. It has like a bronzy orange color, white, brown, like this hunter green color. So what do you guys think about this? Okay, you guys, so this is our last look. I have on the same jeans, and I just paired it with this, like, blush pink linen blazer that I also got from Old Navy the same time I got the shorts. And then I paired it with the tank top and this snakeskin print little bucket bag from H&M. Think about this look. So thank you guys so much for watching my video. Thank you to all my new subscribers for subscribing to my channel. Thank you to all my OGs for continuously being subscribed to me. Don't forget to follow me at Tasha.bstyles on Instagram. Until next time, bye y'all.